Please, for the love of the sweet goats present above and below, do not harass or abuse anyone brought up in this video. Don't make goat dad sad, don't bully people on the internet, and most importantly, don't be a numbnut. Oh yeah, and you know what? Buy my fucking shirt. Hello my sweet goats, welcome to another episode of Twitter Numbnuts. I know, it has been far too long since I've done one. It's because every time I ask for them, I, I, uh, I, I see them, they're there, they're good. And then I sit in front of a camera and I think, wow, wow, why am I in front of a camera right now? Wow, wow, I'm shit, I'm shit, I'm shit. And then I just stop recording. Uh, so that ends up happening, but it's okay. It's okay. I've actually uh, been able to deal with myself today. And uh, this has been uh, gr thanks to the help of Moskovskaya Vodka. Moskovskaya Vodka. <laughs> that was just me trying to do a Russian accent. I don't know how good it is. You'll have to tell me how good it is. But uh, yes, right now, today, this episode here is sponsored by this vodka, which I think... Which I think I pronounced properly. Moskovskaya. Moskovsa Moskovskaya. That's really good. That's really good vodka. That's really good vodka. I can't get too drunk right now. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, I'm good though. This is no problem. This is easy. I can drink vodka like this anytime. Other bitches at the clubs and shit like that, they need like 7-Up. They need some soda. No. I can drink the vodka straight. It's not problem at all. All right, let's get to uh, this episode of Twitter and I'm nuts. Holy shit. Uh, I asked you guys for 100 submissions and you guys hit the nail on the head. 100 submissions. Oh my God, I'm looking at that right now. It's just perfect. It's a crisp number. Crisp number. We got quite number one guy right now responding to this tweet is quite and he's a rat. And he sends me my own tweet. You're not supposed to do that. That's not what you can do. You can't do this in this game quite. I know that you've never really submitted anything to Twitter numbnuts before, you bitch. But let me tell you something, okay? You never ever do that again. Ever. Ever, okay? I'm I, I, I'll make an exposed video on you, bro. Alright, I'll make an exposed video on you and then what's gonna happen to all your subs? They're gonna go away. And then we have Leaf here, always ready to deliver the goods. And this here is from Zinnia Jones. Zinnia Jones, your goose. Your big goose. She writes, fuck the white working class. Are you serious, Zinnia? Is that something that you want to say publicly? Is that diplomatic? It really isn't diplomatic with the white working class. I wish there are, are many members, you know? There's also the brown working class, the yellow working class, uh, the, the, the black working class. Uh, but they're all good. They're all the working class and the working class needs to, you know, we need to cooperate with the working class and, and all of its, all of its, uh, its subsections. Come on, lady. You shouldn't be Come on, lady. Come, come on, come on. And I'm pretty sure that you qualify for the white working class too. Just, just saying. Oh shit! This here is from my boy, Ian Miles Chong. Ian Miles Chong, uh, who was actually featured in the Twitter Numbnuts. I don't know if you guys know that he, I, he got called out in Twitter Numbnuts. It's okay though. It's okay though. He's my boy. You know, he knows it comes from a place of love. Uh, but he sent me this guy. His name is Jonathan McIntosh. Jonathan McIntosh! He says, unless the game mechanics of God of War revolve around a pivot to non-violent problem solving, it will reproduce toxic ideas about manhood. Sorry, there's just no way around that. Many modern game designers are aware of the link between violent conflict, resolution, and toxic masculinity, but they refuse to give up their core violence-based mechanics. So we get narratives that acknowledge the problem but keep indulging in a kill-or-be-killed gameplay until the gaming industry is willing to evolve beyond violence as the primary means of conflict resolution. Big budget video games will continue to have very little to say. Too bad, because the medium has so much potential. <laughs> oh man, that goes on for too long. Jonathan, I think I know what you're getting at here, okay? I know I was memeing on you there a little bit. It does seem like you're crying, okay? You know, criticizing God of War in this regard shouldn't be uh, your highest priority because, I mean, God of War is really just, like, God of War. Like, that's all it is. Like, it's never gonna be more than a kill or be killed situation in that game. It's like, it's God of War, okay? If you've played the first three, 
you're gonna realize that uh, it's, it's just, it's supposed to be crazy bloody. And now, uh, you make it seem like there aren't very impactful games that encourage uh, this uh, non-violent resolution of conflict. And I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, Metal Gear is a big one. You know, you can get through the whole game. In fact, you get rewarded for going through the whole game without killing people. In Metal Gear Solid 5, you know, uh, you, you pretty much n not only were rewarded for not killing them, but you're rewarded for integrating them within your army. So there's like this... There's, it's there, man. It's there, and it's it's being pushed very, very, you know, the the whole non-violent resolution of conflict part is being pushed quite a bit, quite a bit, man. In a in a very profound way. Trust me, it really is. So uh, you gotta chill out on God of War for a little bit. Just chill out on that, okay? Please, thank you. So this here is from my friend Ditsy, who's an educator, and uh, she sent me a uh, uh, an exchange uh, between three people, Jill, Matt, and Paul, about what I can imagine is is early childhood education and uh, and it starts with Jill saying the daycares themselves and the workers don't actually make much money goes to insurance mostly my friend has a master's in early childhood education and makes forty thousand dollars a year which isn't a lot of a lot and then we have Matt who comes in here and says I have a high school diploma and make three times that without trying degrees without a higher purpose are a waste of money education is an investment and most people make a poor investment choice. And then Paul comes in and says, you, you got a point, but you would think a degree to educate babies and kids is a higher purpose. Just wish they were paid better. And then Matt says, and I wish I could get paid better to work in my garden all day. Um, uh, Matt, bro, uh, early childhood education is so crucial, okay? Because my childhood sucked. I had problems that I had to deal with and that I'm still probably dealing with because my childhood sucked. Okay, I got a couple of problems. I got uh, I got self-worth issues, all right? I look in the mirror and I say, wow, I'm fucking ugly every time because I was told I was ugly and I was fucked up and I didn't have the right guidance as a kid, you know? I, I, I think I'm a fuck up all the time and because I, I, was, I was treated like a fuck up in, 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 in elementary school, I'm telling you. You need good early childhood educators it is a higher purpose if you can fucking raise a child properly you get you raise a society properly they're the they're the lifeblood of our society they're the future of humanity children are fucking a protected class dude seriously they gotta be treated like royalty it, with limitations with limitations all right you don't want to spoil them but uh they need to be given the best fucking start to life that they can be possibly given ever Please, seriously. Matthew, reconsider your positions. Okay, so now we have Jennifer de Guzman. She strikes again, apparently. I don't know why she's striking again. I don't know what she's striking at, but she's striking something. She says, it's weird how people will say it's unrealistic to have people of color in period pieces set in Europe, but we'll find any excuse to make a white dude the protagonist in films about a Lakota Sioux tribe, feudal Japan, or 11th century Imperial China. That's on that is a point that I can't help but agree with on <laughs> honestly man honestly they have like they they shit their pants and they're like oh, you, 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 you this you you can't you can't have a black person in a movie in Europe you crazy and then when a white guy appears in like India and he's like fucking uh, helping them uh, liberate everything they're like yeah 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 for sure for sure yeah yeah for sure that's okay it's okay no i get it i totally agree with you Jared Jennifer that's not a that's not even a numb numb moment that's a solid tweet i agree with you lady oh my goodness oh my goodness ian miles chong did it again he sent me uh this guy's got me blocked by the way i've never spoken to will wheaton you know i always thought he was a bit of an annoying character on star trek but whatever he's quote tweeted brianna Wu. all right we're gonna read brianna Wu's tweet right now she says our campaign staff needs to grow if we're gonna win i'm looking to make two hires this week can we please count on your support i cannot do this alone i guess she's probably asking for money and then we got will wheaton he says we need brianna Wu in congress for a lot of reasons not the least of which is that she's actually understands technology unlike the clowns who zuckerberg run ran circles around last week Ooh, that's hard man that is a hard hard thing to to kind of uh argue i mean uh you know brianna who may be kind of maybe really dumb in in other areas like really dumb she says some really ridiculously dishonest things but uh but she obviously knows how to use a computer you know uh, and those guys i'm pretty sure that zuckerberg talked to uh, you know uh, probably freak out when they have to open up uh, their contacts folder in their phone, right? So 
Yeah, I mean, it does kind of make sense. We do need younger people in Congress. We need people who are more technologically apt. But uh, I don't know if Brianna Wu is the right person for Congress. I just don't think that she's the right one. I think that, you know, someone uh, a little bit, a little bit, uh, a lo you know, someone that understands technology, but, but isn't Brianna Wu? Isn't, you know, not Brianna Wu? You know, we don't need, we don't, we don't need Moon Rocks Brianna Wu in, in Congress. Okay, we were just, I, I, I don't know what you want me to tell you, okay? I, I, at this point, I, I'm not really sure how to convince you, but Brianna Wu is a little strange. She's just a little weird, okay? I think she's a weirdo, and I just don't think that she needs to be in Congress right now. I don't think, you know, I, I'm thinking maybe somebody else, just somebody else. I do want, I do understand the sentiment though, Will Wheaton, Pickens are slim. Okay, we need somebody who understands technology in Congress. We need a lot of people who understand technology in Congress. A lot of people who understand the future. Will, I hope we can under. I hope we can at least. Emp I, I hope I can connect to you on that level. Thanks. So this tweet here is from Colossal is crazy. Uh, Colossal is crazy. For those of you guys that don't know, he's now my 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 internet manager. Uh, he put me in touch with a uh, very notable fellow named Burkan. Uh, that's, uh, that's the only way I know him. I only know him as Burkan. And Burkan asked me for a couple of lines for this game called uh, uh, Hunt Down the Freeman. It's an amazing, amazing game that is canon in the uh, Half-Life uh, universe. It really is a quite an incredible uh, title. And, uh, you know, it was a very lucrative uh, deal for me. So now Colossal is my full-time manager and he gets me all the deals because... This was a really, really good opportunity for me to, to, you know, put my voice out there in this game that was just absolute dog shit. It's a colossal piece of shit. Colossal piece of shit. Yes, those are four words that I never saw, saw going together. Colossal piece of shit. Who'd have thought, huh? <laughs> Who'd have thought? Anyway, he sends me uh, Jack's tweet. This is the CEO of Twitter. He says, Twitter stands for freedom of expression. We stand for speaking truth to power. And we stand for empowering dialogue you know that your account is shit when you can't like go as viral as like those other tweets like the the celebrity tweeters that you have like the people that like sh get like 200,000 retweets man you got what like 1800 retweets i mean people you're the ceo of the company and you can't even fuck you can't you don't even have that much clout that's fucking crazy that's really crazy you clearly also do not know what your company stands for anymore because i mean at the end of the day bro uh, uh people are getting banned left and right for for, for small little things, small little things. Yours truly got banned for a tiny little thing, a very tiny, tiny little thing. Cool, cool, real sick, bro. You got a sick platform. You got a good platform. I actually do really enjoy your platform, Jack. It's very good, it's very addictive, okay? But sir, you got a really good fucking platform. Really good, D doesn't need any improvement at all. Doesn't need any at all. So this next tweet is brought to you by Nicolette, who I actually just had the pleasure of talking to. I spoke to her and Shane and uh, it was a really, really nice uh, conversation. It, I, I was, I thought it was supposed to be an interview, but we just went there and we talked, and we had a good time. They just seemed like really nice people. They really just seemed really cool. So if you're interested in hearing that conversation, you can always go ahead and check out the description below for a link. Well, she sent me this tweet from this one lady named Ali, uh, and uh, her handle's Alifornia. Kind of cool. Uh, imagine if men centered their masculinity on caring for animals, gardening, and maintaining some nice plants, beekeeping, having a clean home, reading books, building tables, literally anything besides destruction and power. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, Ali, that, that is what a lot of men do. I mean, a lot of men have done that. That's why we're here today is because there have been men to take care for animals. There have been men to be gardeners. There have been men to, you know, uh, uh, you know, maintain plants. There have been men, men, men who do beekeeping. Now, there have been men who, who, who clean homes, you know, who have cleaned their own homes, you know, who there have been men who read lots of books. Yeah, that's crazy, right? These lot, there's a lot of men that have read books and, and now they're at this point where they're, you know, building things in society and then uh, building tables. Oh my God, there's so many carpenters. Like, there have been lots of carpenters. I mean, Jesus was a carpenter, wasn't he? Gee, I mean, the oh, like that guy is supposed to be like the ultimate dude, right? Jesus, he was a carpenter. Kind of cool, right? I mean, it's it's almost as if like there are things that they focus on besides destruction and power, right? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! This one's crazy. This is nuts. 
So this tweet here was sent to me by Muad Vlad. Muad! And it's from someone who goes by the name of Katie's Bottom. And the tweet is, I'm not sure if this is real. I can't, I don't know if this is real, but this is good. It says, when I breastfed my son, I used to masturbate at the same time. That, the way he sucked my nipples gave me the best orgasms. That's some fucking freaky shit. That's some fucking... I'm looking at my producer right now. I'm just waiting to see, he see his reaction. He's got his head over his... He's got his hands over his head. He's just leaning back. He's like, what the fuck? What is that shit? What is that? That's fucking crazy. <laughs> it's great. I don't, I don't know if that's real. There's no way that's real. That's... That is some whack shit, lady. Really is. Uh, you know... Uh, my mom always said that I bit her nipples too hard and she didn't like it. That's what my mom. My mom said she was like she's like used to bite sometimes, and I was like shit. Sorry, mom. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> okay, so this is sent to me from the Untitled, and uh, uh, it's Eric Schneiderman. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know who Eric Schneiderman is. I'm assuming it's a politician. I'm looking closer at the image here. Looks like looks like a politician or some kind of like hoity-toity dude. He says we have to eliminate the wage gap between men and women in America and the racial wage gap gap and the lgbt wage gap this is basic fairness equal payday um i'm pretty sure i've worked with gay people that have made more than me all right i'm pretty sure i know many gay people that make more than me uh and uh i i really just feel like you're just trying to find those buzzwords that are going to hit the right markets for you to to i don't know who you are eric schneiderman so i don't know what your motivations are but uh but i mean if you're a politician and you're saying lg lgbt gay wage gap I know what you're doing. I'm on to you. <laughs> <laughs> totally am. This fucking guy. I see him everywhere, man. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. I don't even care. I don't even care. Like, I just, I have him muted. So anytime he says anything about me or anybody that I know, I just ignore it entirely. But uh, there, here's the breakdown. It says, Nazis, let's genocide minorities. That's what they're saying. And then Antifa, apparently, all, all they say is, let's not do that. Uh, and then centrists, they say, I can't tell the difference. They're both the same. That's not, no. Centrists are saying, let's not do that. And Tifar is saying, let's fucking fuck up anybody that we think is a Nazi. All right, who's a Nazi? I, I don't know, uh, this Jewish guy, you know, the yarmulke. He says the things that I don't like. He's a Nazi, get him. You know, that's that's what we see and that's, that's what bothers us, okay? I, I told people that I'd be getting off this whole Nazi versus Antifa topic. It really doesn't fucking matter, but I'm just saying, like, that's not what centrists do. Centrists are like, oh, they're both the same. It's not, they're not both the same, obviously. But uh, they're like the same, same, but different, but still same. All right, my sweet goats, that is it for this episode of Twitter Numbnuts. Thank you guys so much for submitting these tweets. Thank you so much to the people who ended up being featured in this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just want to kind of end it with just one last tweet here. And this is from Big Bully Shark. And, 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 and he or they say, I don't have anything for you, but good luck on this next Twitter Numbuts numb butts and he sends me some fucking weird anime shit don't ever do that again okay don't ever fucking do that again seriously <laughs> <laughs> fuck anime if you did enjoy this video feel free to go ahead and hit that like button and of course subscribe for more content because you know you want more bunty in your life you know you enjoyed yourself here and you want more enjoyment in the future so there really is no way of losing if you subscribe to me you know what go the extra step don't just subscribe to me Hit that bell icon. I want you to hit that bell icon so you get notified. It's like fucking happiness juice just injected right into your fucking brain. And you're good to go. You're good to go. And of course, if you are a super fan and you really fucking love me and you really want more of this content, you want to see it grow and grow and grow and grow, feel free to become a patron, all right? You can become a patron for as low as a dollar a month. And I tell you right now, I will appreciate you immensely. Just one dollar a month. That's 12 bucks a year. $12 a year. You won't even need to remember me. You won't even... You'll be... <laughs> I hope that you'd remember me, but you wouldn't need to, okay? Because it would be just that little. You'd be like, you know what? I like this guy, 12 bucks a year. You can go to him. I'm your Indian child. Consider me your Indian child or your Indian, your Indian, sp something, something. You'd be doing a good thing. If you're white and you keep getting called a racist, you can be like, but I'm not a racist. I, I, I give this guy 12 bucks a year. <laughs> it's one more reason to not get fired from work. Amazing, right? Amazing. I provide all the solutions. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciated it. This is uh, this is a great, uh, great recording. Actually, I had a lot of fun filming it. Um, and I hope to see you soon. Have a good one. Bye.